Hi guys, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, right here, we're just gonna do be doing a bunch of side quests right now because I needed the gold because I didn't know that I needed to purchase a broom at the last portion of the video. Uh, after finding the two pages in the books and whatnot, which I'm gonna explain during the gameplay as well. So, without further ado, we're gonna do a, a whole bunch of side quests, see if we can get some gold, sell some items and whatnot, and see if we can find some things that are valuable. And then, proceeding on, we're gonna do the main quest. So let's get to it. <laughs> there they are. She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willards, he might get an answer about these butterflies. My fault you're a deadly great spider. Rebellion. Any more good. Then meet me in my classroom to learn Defender, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Hello, Miss Willardsey. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare.
Revelio. Revelio. Depulsa. Revelio. Depulsa. Accio. Revelio. Rebellion. Let me check my talents and see if uh, I can get like a spell or something for. Rebellion.
Seems a pleasant enough little place. Revelio. Aren't you the student who chased Ranrock's loyalists out of Lower Hogsfield? Yes, I thought that was you. Well done. Pushing a plow is good on its way. Grace, what was it you needed my help with? I was hoping you could dive down and retrieve a treasure. This must be where the Pink Smedley family astrolabe is. know that I found her family astrolabe. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did, but it wasn't easy. I shall need to be compensated. I see. That's fair, I suppose. A reward, so to speak, for finding the buried treasure. Thank you for recovering it. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. 20 goddamn coins. Bruh, what I'm gonna do with 20 coins, bruh? I have to be compensated and I get 20 coins. I guess it's better than no coins, because I'm pretty sure she wasn't gonna give me any. Let's see. Let's see if I can find some goons or something somewhere. Because I know they usually have that thing on them. 
busy yet. Okay, this map is big, way bigger than I expected. Oh, yeah, this is way, way bigger than I expected. So we got a lot to explore. We got a lot to explore. Okay. Yes, be that it may. Him, but Levioso, that is trash. Kill this man with Levioso. Revelio. In fact, ain't no gold like over there or anything, so. Incendio. Okay, at least it's something I can't sell. <sighs> These rocks have seen better days. Revelio. Thank you. 
Incendio. Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Incendio. Incendio. A car. Revelio. Revelio. if I'm not careful. Revelio. Incendio. Rebellion. It's been ages since I've found anything worth poaching near Cragcroft. <laughs> Nothing to poach in Erinshire except spiders. Not worth the trouble, if you ask me. So better not be a 
Send you. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Rock's hands. Revelio.
Revelio. Incendio. That I could. I didn't say I was. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Lumos. Incendium. Lumos.
Revelio. Wonder who lives here. That Pippin should have been here by now. Always late, that Pippin. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? This will do just fine. Thank you. Thank you for stopping in. Nice to see you again. Likewise. What can I help you with today? I'd like to ask you a few things, if you don't mind. What would you like to know? Would you mind telling me a little about Keenbridge? You've likely heard talk of the thieving troll that unfortunately settled in the area. Been terrorizing people. Robs all who pass by. So you'd be wise to remain vigilant whilst traveling near Keenbridge. You would not want to come face to horrid face with that monstrous thing. How did you come to live here in Keenbridge? I've only been here a few years. 
used to sell my wares as I traveled. It was an exhausting life, but I never minded it. One day, my travels brought me through Cambridge. I fell in love. Though my travels continued, my heart remained here. So I eventually returned and opened this shop. Been here ever since. I shall live out my days here in Cambridge if I have any say in it. Which I suppose I do. How did you come to live here in Cambridge? One. So I shall live out my day. What sorts of things do you sell? Potions. I brew each one myself, using only the finest ingredients. I assure you, you won't find... What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Thank you for no, stopping in. I should have more I than enough money to buy my potions. Is to... Rebellion. Oh, not my potions, but buy my new broom. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented it. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Lumos. I think there's some dangerous enemies over here, so I'm gonna go take these boys out real quick. Lumos. Lumos.
Ugh. Shame you're so foul. Hawks me. I did hope uh, did it. The side quest for traveling and delivering the goods and the potions for the guy and then I got a whole bunch of gold and stuff. So now I'm able to purchase a broom. You're back. Nice to see you again. What are we looking for today? Probably ending off this portion of getting a broom. This part here. That item is of the highest quality. Right, look kind of cool. That item is of the highest quality. Uh, I don't like this one. And mm, that item is of the highest quality. This one. Maybe either this one or awesome. mm, That item is of the highest one. quality. Go You'll be one. thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. I, whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you! I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special prize. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Thank you guys for tuning in to another part of Hogwarts Legacy. I'm really enjoying this video game and it's really, really exciting. So next portion of the video, uh, I, I will be admire, doing the broom challenge and seeing what the broom handle is like. So I'll see you guys next time and peace.